I have not seen you in quite a while. I know. I genuinely saw you, and I went, "Wow, I miss you so much." I know. I miss you too. And I, but you've been really busy. Yes. I made a, my first really big movie. I mean, I've made some small independent right. movies, but this is my first like yeah. big giant studio movie called Going in Style with these legendary film, uh, excuse me, these legendary actors, Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine, Alan Arkin, and Margaret. It's, uh, it's a giant cast. It's huge. I mean, congratulations. Look, there I am looking like I'm directing. Yeah. <laughs> And they were like listening to you and everything. Yeah, yeah, they really did, believe it or not. I was shocked too. I was so nervous. And they, they were just so sweet and, 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 and they respected me. And all of a sudden I realized, like, I, look, there's Morgan giving me a back massage. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the most surreal moments of my life. We're in this little weird, tiny supermarket in Brooklyn. And it was very stressful, long day. And Morgan starts rubbing my shoulders. And I'm like, I th I've never had an Oscar winner rub my shoulders before. Was he good? Oh, he was great. Yeah. Very strong thumbs. Good. good. Yeah. Very important to have the strong thumbs. <laughs> He's a sweetheart. Yeah, that's fantastic. And you were in New York, and what was that like? Were people like flipping out to see the three of them? It's in New amazing. York? You know, there, there's lots of sets, and everyone's shooting in, in Brooklyn and New York a lot these days, but these guys stop traffic. I mean, crowds form. And I've got, you know, these three guys walking down the street. I mean, everyone just stops and stares at them. And then, well, especially individually, but much less together. And then they're in like these, you, you have these jazzies. Which, uh... I heard you call it a jazzy. We, we, we call it a, um, well, like a scooter a thing. Well, but yeah, but when people call it a scooter, you think that it's a moped. Yeah, that. They, yes. just... <laughs> they, try and, they try a practice run, because they're going to rob a bank, and they try and rob a, a supermarket, and it all goes awry, and this is their escape car. <laughs> this little, uh, and, and there's Morgan in the basket. Yeah, yeah. that was comfortable? Uh, well, it's funny. <laughs> It's funny, we had to reinforce it, obviously, because it's not meant to hold a six-foot-two man. No. <laughs> so we made it extra strong and comfortable for him. He wouldn't get out. The whole day, he spent just in the basket, just, like, <laughs> chilling out. And I was like, Morgan, do you want to get out? And we're going to reset the car. He's like, no, I'm good. I think I'll sit right here. And so he spent the whole day in the basket. Wow. Well, we're going we're gonna, to uh, race each other in one of those things. I have not. I didn't want to practice. I've never been on one. But we're going to race later on today. I can't wait. Yeah. In a jazzy or yeah. rascal thing. Yeah, in a jazzy <laughs> rascal thing. Um, I'm looking at you, and Dax Shepard was here. Yeah. Uh, and they, it turns out, and I, now I see it, because we were looking at pictures earlier, but I didn't. Uh, Y'all, yeah. get, you get mistaken for each other? We get mistaken for each other all the time. In fact, people will come up to me, and they'll be like, hey, I really love your work. And I say, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And they say, I love how your show used to go from comedy to drama. And I say, oh my god, thank you so much. And they say, and your wife is so cute. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't have a wife. <laughs> Dax! <laughs> Dax! So it happens enough now that I'm just going to start being like, yes, she's great. Well, actually, things aren't going so well. Oh, uh, wow. She's, she's mean. Yeah. She's mean. A lot of people don't know this, but she's mean to me. You're going to spread rumors about Kristen. That's not fair. But now I do see it. I didn't see it before, but I, I, I do see it. And you are single, in fact, because yeah. there's something you posted that shows how very single you are. Yeah, there's, a single man's is, fridge. Your refrigerator is the saddest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I put that on Instagram, and it's not a bit. Like, that's what my fridge looked like. And, um, and it's funny, like, my stepmother got so upset. She came over and she brought all this food over. She, and I'm like, but I'm working so much. I'm, it's, I'm never home because I'm, I'm really busy. And so she filled my fridge. And the whole time I'm thinking, like, I'm never going to eat all this. But I don't want, you know, she's being so sweet. I don't want to hurt her feelings. But I'm never going to have a chance to eat all this. She's like, now, when you peel the potatoes, you need to boil them and put them. I'm like, peeling potatoes? That's not happening right now. No. I'm, I don't have any time to be home. And that's really what my, I don't even like A1. I mean, no offense to A1, but. <laughs> But there's no reason to have a one. Well, that goes with food. You understand that? Yeah. It's not. I think that may have been like someone must have brought over a steak, and I was like, oh, I have a one. <laughs> yeah, I, I see. <laughs> Come on over. I've got yeah. a one. Yeah. If, yeah. If, if you're gonna make a meal, right. I have a one. So do you have pressure from your family to, to find someone? Yes. Uh, everyone is looking to try and set me up with people. I actually went out to dinner with Michael Caine uh, in London because I was over there, and, and I, it's bizarre, but we're kind of friends now. And he's like, I'm going to set you up with a girl. Let me, he's looking around the restaurant, and he sees the, the girl, um, Nicole Scherzinger, the mm -hmm. woman from the Pussycat Dolls, yes. who happened to be in the restaurant. And he's like, I know yeah, her. And he's like, I'd never met her before. And he's like, I know her. You want me to set you up with her? And I'm like, yeah, you can set me up with her. <laughs> <laughs> You're Michael Caine. You've got to be a pretty decent wingman. Yeah. And he turns out he was a horrible wingman. He's like, Nicole, come over here. And, <laughs> and she comes over, and he's like, I'm watching you, too. I see what's happening. And I'm like, this is really not going well. Oh, man. Um, so no, it didn't, didn't work out. It didn't really. She's it, very sweet, though, isn't she's she? She's very sweet and very beautiful, but Michael Caine turned out to be a horrible wingman.